if you want to set up and test angles on a machine or by hand, Angle Cube is a really good bit of kit. It's got a micro USB port which you can use for charging but also taking data from the box and putting it onto your laptop if you're using SketchUp or a similar program. It's got magnets on three sides so it's going to stick onto any metal surface, a blade or a bed and we can change the angle very very precisely. Also we can put a hold or we can use a tilt and we can always go back to zero. Placed on the bed set it back to zero just put it on the machine the magnets will make it stick and then we can bring that machine over to a suitable angle so not only can you do 90 and 45 degrees you can do any angle in between not only can we use it to set the angle of the saw but also if we've set the saw an angle in this direction hard to check whether that angle is really what the gauge is telling us if we do this cut Flip the timber up, make sure it's at zero, place him on to your given cut, and it is spot on 15 degrees. For setting odd angles on the bandsaw, use the magnets to put this onto the blade, turn it to zero, place it on the bed, and now you can move your angle of your bed either negative or positive to any angle that you're looking for. If you've got one of our incorrect miter gauges, you'll know how accurate they are and how well it can be set up. But you might have got a miter gauge come free with your machine, which just isn't the same level of quality. But we can use the angle cube to set this up more accurately. So if you've got a miter gauge that's come free with a the machine, they're not very precise. But what you can do is place that on your bed, get your angle cube to zero, put the magnets onto the miter bar, and adjust this round to whatever angle you're trying to reach. On the table saw, put him on your bed, get him back to zero. Make sure you don't place it on one of the teeth, otherwise it'll give you an odd number. Make sure it goes on the plate of the saw and make sure you have it upright, not angled, otherwise you're measuring your level of the floor, not the set the blade and from there we can take this over to any angle that we're looking for what we can also do is set it to zero again we could now mark the difference between that angle and another angle we've got to cut on the saw just like on the miter saw if you've done an angle you want to check what you've cut bring the angle cube back getting back to zero Make your cut, place them on your bed, and you can test how accurate your cut has been and make any tweaks to the saw if need be. We can use the angle cube on the spindle molder. Make sure you put it round to zero again. Make sure you put it on there. You're going to put it at 90 degrees to the spindle. If we spin it around, and all we're doing is measuring my floors out of level. Bring it around it here. Put it on your spindle. Now we can wind him over to any angle you're looking for and make some really fine adjustments on this. The magnets on the angle cube are great, but can I mean useless when it comes to aluminium. So for this, my jointer, if I put my square on there, I can now get the magnets to sit to that, and then I can spin it over again to whatever angle we're trying to produce. I can use it for setting up the bed on the pillar drill. Again, put him on the column, set him back to zero, square onto your bed, and make whatever adjustments angle wise that you need to. We're making a bench stool project in the workshop at the moment, so we've got a really good drawing, but originally we surveyed an old stool to come out with all of the compound angles we've got in here. So to do this with trigonometry is really quite tricky, but the angle cube, it's very, very quick. So again, set him to zero. I can put him on the outside of my leg and then note down, or I could have this attached to the laptop, so it's actually giving you the information directly to there. Different angle inside. 
If this were a chair, you'd also, the side would be sloping as well. So would the back at a different angle and so would the arm. So you can survey the whole thing in about three minutes. I also use the angle cube out on site, not just in the workshop. I've got myself an old level. I've stuck, super glued a couple of washers to it. I can put my magnets onto that one. I can now use them on site to actually see where the levels of walls are upright or out a bit. And I can transfer the angle onto a drawing if I'm trying to do a site survey. I've also used it for drainage. Put it on top of your soil pipe. Make sure you've got the right amount of fall on it. And also in our workshop here when I was designing it, actually up on the roof line or the ceiling to make sure I've got the right angle for the drawing I'm producing for the planners. Sliding bevels are really old bit of kit that we use in the workshop. Great for transferring angles, but getting the angle set on this from a drawing you've produced is a bit more tricky. So what you can do, put this on the bed, put the magnets onto it, and now you can set it up to any desired angle that you're trying to produce. That's one of Marple's ones we sell. This also is one of my favourites. This is a little eye gauging one. This one we can set up angles as well. So we can get right into these angles to test. There's not many bits of kit can get in as tight as this. If you want to sharpen up a plain blade or a chisel to a particular angle, the Veritas is a really good bit of kit because all the angles are defined on here for you. So the Veritas is going to be great. If you've got a more traditional honing guide, put your blade in there. Make sure that your angle cube is set to zero. Get them on there with the magnets and now you can adjust this to whatever angle you want to set. The angle cube is available from Woodworkers Workshop along with a whole range of eye gauging products. You can buy them online from us in the UK and Europe. This particular little bit of kit comes with its storage pouch you can clip it onto your belt usb goes inside the whole lot packs up check out the links down in the description